Welcome to another Dragonland Saga Readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I'm reading the Dragonland Saga Book 1, Chapter 1 and 2. I'd like to take a moment to thank the members of this channel, and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the link in the description below. A TSR Graphic Novel, The Dragonland Saga, Book 1. Adapted by Roy Thomas and Thomas Yeats. Chapter 1. The Road to Solace. Well, never should have left home. One more. I'm damned if I'm ever leaving again. What? Don't curse me for a golly dwarf! Come out in the open and fight, you sneaking! I am in the open, Flint Fireforge. It's you who are not. Donis? Not as half elven? I barely recognized you after these five years. Behind that chin of fur. My beard? A gift from my human father, old friend. It did much to hide my mixed heritage in lands not friendly to those of elven blood. And our little quest took me to lands not friendly to anyone of any kind of blood. But we're home now, and that's behind us. Is it? I've heard the High Seekers appointed a man named Hedrick to govern Solace as High Theocrat, and that he's turned the town into a hotbed of fanaticism. Inquisitions? Huh. I don't believe in the Seeker gods, but keep quiet, and they'll leave you alone. That's my motto. Will they? The High Seekers are of haven are still wise and virtuous men, despite this one rotten apple in solace. By the by, did you find what you sought when we parted? Some sign of the ancient true gods? No. I heard tales of priestly healing, but it was all trickery and magic, as our friend Raceland had warned us. Raceland? <laughs> that pasty-faced, reed-thin magician, always poking his nose where it doesn't belong. I dare say, if not for his twin brother looking after him. Damn the eyes of the elves! Humph! And damn the beards of the hill dwarves! Tasselhoff barefoot! I swear as a race you kender are as much a nuisance as mosquitoes! I ask you, Tannis, is that any way for him to talk to a comrade he's not seen in years? Well, you must admit... With Kender, things do have a way of leaping from one's pocket into your own. Things? You mean, like Flint's money pouch? You thieving rascal! I'll thrash you with your own wooden hoopack! Get up, you two. We've far more serious business to attend to back in Solace. Biff, buff, pow, whoa. Oh, in that case, you'll be glad we've come to escort you. Frack, kick, bam! Uh... We've company, lads. I am Fewmaster Toad, leader of the forces that keep Salas protected from undesirable elements. You've no right to be walking within the city limits after dark, so you are under arrest. Bring me the blue crystal staff if you find it on them. I advise you to stand aside, goblins. Oh, and if they resist, boys, kill them. We've had a long journey. We're tired and hungry and late for a meeting with friends we've not seen in a long time. We've no intention of being arrested, let alone killed. <laughs> Bunk. Goblins! In solace? These scum will fight for anyone, Tannis. Throw them some dog meat once in a while, and they're yours forever. Dog meat? How about tender meat, you little... <laughs> What business has the High Theocrat with the likes of you, Goblin? Hedrick, that simpering fool! Our few master works for... Uh... Flint, I didn't want it killed. I was trying to learn something. Sorry. Thunk. Well, we'll find out more when we reach Solace. I'll get your knife for you, Taz. I don't want it back. 
You can never get rid of the goblin smell, you know. Besides, that was Flint's dagger. Chapter 2. The Inn of the Last Home Solus has always been a crossroads for travelers, but it seems as if nearly everyone in Solus has come to the inn tonight, Tannis. Aye, friend Flint. Perhaps people feel safer in crowds these days. Small wonder with so many seeker priests around. At least I don't see any goblins. Perhaps our fellow questers will know what's going on. And if they're here, they'll be here if they're alive. It was a sacred oath we took to meet again after five years and tell what we learned about the evil spread in the world. To think, we should come home and find evil on our very doorstep. Oomph! Caraman, plague take me for a dolt to think you would not make it back tonight. I'm here, Tannis. And what of Raceland? You twins are never far apart. I'll take you to him, but I warn you, he's changed. There sits my brother. Raceland? Tannis. I see my changed appearance startled you. In the name of the true gods, Raceland! Riorks! What evils work here? Are you cursed? Yes, Flint Fireforge. Cursed. When we all parted five years ago, Caraman and I planned a journey so secret I could not even tell you, dear friends, where we were going. I had been selected by Parsalian, the head of my order, to take the test. My brother and I traveled to the fabled Tower of High Sorcery, and there I passed the test. And there I nearly died. It was awful. I found him in that horrible place, blood flowing from his mouth. I picked him up and... Enough, brother. When I awoke, my skin had turned this color, a mark of my suffering. My body and my health are irretrievably shattered, and my eyes, I see through hourglass pupils now, and therefore I see time as it affects all things. I see all of you dying, slowly, by inches, and so I see every living thing, but I have power now. Parsalian told me the day would come when my strength would shape the world. I have power and the Staff of Magius. What is it worth, Raislin? Of course, Tannis Hathelven. Power is what I have long sought and still seek. Uh, Ale! Did that Kender steal the barmaid? Did someone call for Ale? What? Can this be little Tika, who was but a child when we left? I was 14, Tannis. Caraman used to say I was so ugly, my father would have to pay someone to marry me. Oh? By the way, a robed man left this for you this morning. It's from Kittyara. She's not coming. Our older half-sister would not break her oath unless another, stronger oath bound her. She says her duties with her new lord keep her busy. She sends regrets and best wishes to all of us and love to her brothers and to... That is all. The circle is broken. The oath denied. Bad luck. What can you tell me of the man who brought this scroll, Tika? Only that he was covered head to foot. Oh, and he spoke with a strange hissing accent. The old man saw him. What old man? The one over there, spinning stories to those who'll listen. He arrived this morning, rearranging the tables, and has sat by the fire ever since. Here comes one who can tell you more, Tannis. Sturm. I wonder where our fellow Quester dug up that pair with him, Raced. They're barbarians from the plains. That's the dress of the Kwe Shu tribe. Sturm! 
So you're a full-fledged Salamnic Knight now, eh? Did you find your father and claim your inheritance? No one knows if he is alive or dead. But as for my inheritance, I wear it. My armor and my sword. It was all that was left of my father's estate. According to its legend, it will break. Only if I do. Who are those two with you, old comrade? The tall man and the girl? I found them wandering. Near exhaustion, just outside town. There are things on the road these days that is better not to face in the dark. Aye, Sturm. We met some of them, asking about a certain staff. You've no word of Kidiara, I suppose. Not I. We parted soon after crossing the Sea Narrows into Old Salamnia, and I've not seen her these five years. A seeker guard outside did question me about a staff, Blue Crystal, wasn't it? One of those slimy guards stopped us, too, my friends. They wanted to impound Race's staff, if you can believe it, for further investigation, they said. What would have happened if they had taken your staff, Raceland? They would have died. Horribly. And not by my brother's sword. Forget the staff. Armies are gathering in the north. Armies of strange creatures, not human. There is talk of war. Rumors of... What's that child saying? Are all your stories of the ancient gods true, old one? A good question, lad. Are they true, Hedrick? What says Solace's high theocrat? No opinion? Then we must ask this lovely one, for I sense she carries such stories in her heart. I'm sorry. I am no teller of tales. I have not the art. Ah, uh, but you are a singer of songs, are you not, chieftain's daughter? Here, take this lute and sing, if you will. I know not how you know me, sir, but I will sing. The grasslands are endless, and summer sings on. And Gold Moon, the princess, loves a poor man's son. Her father, the chieftain, sends River Wind away to search for strong magic where the sky's rim is gray. The grasslands are fading, the summer wind dies. He comes back, the darkness of stones in his eyes. He carries a blue staff, a clear azure flame. The chieftain makes mockery of River Wind's claim. He orders the lad stoned, let River Wind die. The girl joins her lover, the stones whistle nigh. The staff flares in blue light and both disappear. The grasslands are faded and autumn is here. That was beautiful. She sings like an angel. The girl is Goldman. Is she not, Sturm? Aye, and her companion is Riverwind. But her staff's no thing of blue crystal, is it? Thank you, my dear. That was just the song I wanted to hear, too. Now, can we have a story, old one? Of course, children. Have you ever heard the Canticle of the Dragon? Oh, yes! I believe in dragons. I even hope to see one someday. Be careful what you wish, my child. Well, one day, the great knight Huma became lost in an impenetrable forest. He prayed to the god Paladine for help, and there suddenly appeared before him a great white stag. Yuma could not bring himself to kill an animal so magnificent. I fled, and he followed. Day and night, he followed the stag until it led him to his homeland. Then he offered thanks to the god Paladine that... Blasphemy! You and this woman corrupting our youth! Call the gods! Oh, Hedrick's in his cups again! I'll confiscate this staff! No! It is mine. You cannot take it. Witch! I am the High Theocrat! I take what I want! Chieftain's daughter says you will not take it. Yeah! Help me! Please! Tasselhoff, 
Here, knock him down. Then we can smother the fire. Yes. Whoomph. Thud. Look. The fire's out, and there's not a mark on him. How did you do that, Taz? I... I only... What happened? The staff! The staff healed you, Hythiocrat! Call the guards! Arrest the Kender! Arrest the barbarians! Aye, and all their friends! They have the blue crystal staff! Why, so we do. Now. It's your doing, foul witch! Your staff! You have cured me with evil! Call the guards! Arrest them all! Do you see? She's saying about the staff! And now her friends have it! Let the gods take care of them! Then they'll leave us alone! You've got to get out of here! Those hooded men told the theocrat they'd destroy Solace if they caught anyone harboring the staff. But it isn't our staff! Not really. It... No oh, blazes with it! Already I hear the gods coming! Quickly! Through the kitchen! Hurry lads, before they surround the place! What? Run from this rabble? There is a lady to protect Sturm. The lady, of course. Well, let's be off then. So this is how we must flee, like cornered vermin? Where the ale comes up and the garbage goes down. You're weak, Raceland. I will carry you on my back. I can get down myself, brother. Thank you very much. He shivers my skin. You two follow Flint down. I shall come last. Goldmoon, grab hold of me and... I can climb down a rope, Riverwind. Though I admit it has been a long while. At last, you goblin's daughter! Even at the command of the theocrat, they went through the kitchen! Shall we make a stand in our own houses, Tannis? No. There's no place in Solace for us now. I know a good way to escape. So lead the way, and we'll follow. I'll remember you said that, Flint Fireforge. Then for all our sakes, Tasselhoff, get going! What a homecoming. Thank you all for tuning in to this Dragonlance Saga reading. What did you think of the comic? Have you ever read Dragonlance comics before? Feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com and leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga. And I thank you for joining me in the celebration. Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga. And until next time, Slanjavar!